What's the implication of the fact that we in aviation, God, probably strike me dead for what I'm about to say, we have the great good fortune of having a national regulatory authority. Yeah. Well, and, and they're present. They're, they're, they're present in a way, I, I, I think, that, that's very different than in healthcare. 6,000 6, employees in flight standards yeah, for and, maintenance and And they operations. wander around airlines. They're, yeah. they're present. They, they, they're in, and and they, they ride in airplanes. They watch what's happening. They're the present regulator. And, and, and even though aviation has long, airlines have long said, you know, we're going to hold that regulator at arm's length, the regulator is a great thing. And, and the regulator it has a, a purpose uh, that, that is served. And, and I think in, in healthcare, to some extent, it has been an unregulated environment. Uh, you know, inside a hospital, yeah. you know, do we have that, that single regulatory authority for, for physicians in particular? We, we have multiple groups saying, do it my way, do it my way. But you don't have a single regulator, and what we what we've even seen in healthcare is if if the physician makes a mistake, but it's largely a system issue. Let's say in the hospital where that physician has privileges, that it's entirely the the the, the hospital's responsibility as to why that fallible, predictably fallible physician made that mistake. I've seen medical boards say, "Well, look, I can't influence the hospital." I'm only the regulator of the doc, so am I going to take disciplinary action against the doc or not? Where we, we, the FAA says, look, I regulate both the hospital and the airman, and I, I decide when I'm going to take action with the airman, when I'm going to take action with the, with the airline. And, and there is some benefit that in aviation that we have a single regulator who's looking at system performance. Where I think in healthcare, it's, it's this diverse set of regulators all working at the individual level. And, and a regulatory authority that can be influenced and brought along in the whole system. I mean, yeah. the FAA certainly didn't start out with a no blame yeah. approach to the world, but gradually over time, there are still people in the FAA that aren't terribly enlightened. Yeah. But well, and we uh, have, as it relates to the PSO and creating that that learning culture in, in aviation, with uh, American Airlines starting the ASAP program, we have the FAA when when when, when a pilot now reports. The FAA is at the table seeing every pilot report. You can imagine how radical that idea is for healthcare institution to say every patient safety report submitted inside the, the hospital, the regulator, the Department of Health will be there at the table, see it at the same time you see it, and we'll review it together and we will partner with you how to produce better outcomes. Now, that's a pretty radical idea. I think, I think healthcare, Hal, you could answer this. How, how far is healthcare from that kind of place? Is it 20, 30 years away. And that yeah. was 20 years ago in America with Scott starting. starting. That's right. I, I think that that lack of mutual trust is a critical issue, and uh, we're far from where we need to be. Uh, just no two ways about that.